Internet, what's happening? My name is Steve from GraphicDesignerTips.com and in today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how in Adobe Muse, how to add images and do some basic styling and effects to those images. On the screen right now is my company website located out in Long Island, New York. And uh, obviously, I have a blog about graphic design. I also have a company about graphic design. So two separate entities. Um, but specifically on this website, um, my call to action at the top, which uh, I had uh, this crazy idea while I was uh, sitting at home totally sober. Uh, it's just things, you know, as, as an artist, things just come to you and, and you got to go with them. But uh, I was trying to emphasize my call to action by putting uh, a cool image on the top. And uh, in my studio, uh, I basically have a green screen. So I was able to, you know, come up with something that worked pretty, pretty cool on the top. But um, what I want to show you is uh, if, for instance, like if any web designer is looking at this and, and they're saying at first, before they even know about Adobe Muse, they're saying, you know, that is a hard thing to pull off because of, of layers and styling. And there's a, if, if this was done, you know, through Dreamweaver, there's a ton of CSS that has to be done to make that image perfect. And once you get it perfect, it might look great in one browser and then you pull it to another browser and everything splits apart. So instead of me looking as a one whole person, I look like, you know, a puzzle piece that just got smashed in half. So um, in this tutorial, uh, like I said, this is the this is what we're going to do. And then we're going to throw another image on another page. So I'm going to come into Adobe Muse right now, minimize that real quick and I get out of the preview mode and make sure we're in the design mode, which is up here on the left. All right, because we're going to design now. We're not going to preview. And uh, I am going to uh, find the area where this image is, and it is on my master page. And this master page is just applied to my home page. So anywhere throughout the site you go to like a logo design page or a website design, you do not see that image of me on the top. So we're going to go to the master page, and that's going to load. And if you look at this image, once I click on it, it highlights, and I'm going to hit delete. There we go. All right. So now it's an empty space. And now you're now you're realizing why I had to put an image up there because it was just too much room and you know it just it looked kind of kind of lonely. So um, before you before you do your website, this is just a really important tip. Uh, make sure your images are organized into folders. Don't just have everything on your desktop because you can drag an image from your desktop. But later on, when you start to actually organize folders, which I hope to God that you all are organizing folders to make your lives a little bit easier is, you know, you're going to have to relink that image later on. And it's going to be, you know, a headache to do that to, you know, a hundred or a hundred plus images. So my images are ready in a, in a folder. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit command, I believe D let's see. Yep. On a Mac, I believe on a PC control, I believe control is the um, is as works as command does on a uh, or you know on a, on a Mac so Apple or command so I'm gonna find my image and it I know it's in here it's SML uh, Steven small PSD and I've already done this in Photoshop taking out the green screen color corrected a little bit I'm gonna hit open and it's gonna say import composite image import layer um, I'm gonna Im Im uh, import a composite image on this and it's going to come out as a little thumbnail and you're just going to click anywhere on the page and it's going to appear. Now, if you see what's going on here, it's, uh, it's basically, I can, I can really have this anywhere. And the cool thing about it is whenever I publish this website, it's going to stick exactly where I put it. And that's what's so awesome about Adobe Muse. Um, so basically, uh, I want to fill this area and uh, what I did was I did downsample my image and I'm going to do that by just clicking just like you would in Illustrator with a vector image. You're going to you're going to scale this down. And obviously my layers are correct right now. But, you know, if we had to arrange this to the back, we could send backward and it'll go behind the next layer, which it just went behind the um, our design blog. And I'm going to back up so you see that. Right now the foot is over it, and right now it is behind it. All right, it's layers. It's layering the object. It's it's. If you're used to Illustrator, this program is going to be awesome for you. 
um, a range we can send backward again, uh, or we can even send to the back. All right, so you just basically gotta figure out how your layers are gonna work on that. And uh, that's it with that first image. Now let me just show you another quick thing with another image. Uh, I'm gonna go to our About Us page, and there it is. I am I am not self-infatuated, I promise. It's obviously my website, and uh, I have to have my own images on it. So uh, basically what I'm gonna do here, because I'm sick of looking at myself, um, and you are probably too, if you are within this video, probably five minutes in. So. This is the image that I had done in Illustrator, and it already has rounded corners on it, so I'm gonna delete this image, and I'm gonna put a new image on this website, and uh, I'm gonna change the name of the person on it. Well, actually, it's gonna be, it's gonna be my dog I'm gonna put in here. And uh, I'm gonna take this image from my desktop, like I told you not to do before, but you know, organize it into a folder. We're gonna take this onto the desktop, onto the, uh, we're gonna drag it in like so, and it's gonna make a nice big image. And this is my dog in her Halloween costume. She's very excited. Little uh, chicken costume. We're very country people out here on Long Island, New York. So uh, we like to uh, dress our dogs up in chickens and, and stuff like that. So um, basically, just like Illustrator, you can pull these anchor points on the side and they're basically going to, it's, it's strange. You're gonna notice that you know, if you want to keep the proportion, if I go up and down, it's not distorting. And usually you have to hold shift for that to happen. That's an automatic thing in Muse. Maybe there's a setting in here which um, is making this happen. I can maybe change the setting. But if I hold shift like you would normally do to scale something in Illustrator, it actually distorts the image. So I'm holding a shift right now. So. It's kind of bogus when you think about it. It is backwards, although you know a lot of the things are similar uh, with these programs. Obviously, Adobe makes them. They want to keep the continuity between all the programs, you know, shortcuts and stuff. So, uh, just like InDesign, what I'm going to do is I am going to hold the um, Apple or Command, and I'm just going to drag this. That's how I'm going to take my frame out of here. I'm going to make this a little bit smaller. I'm going to move her over over a little bit, and if I double click in here. You're gonna see that I can, everything turns orange on the outside and I can now scale her within the photo, which is pretty cool. The last thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna add some effects on here. Um, up here in our tools area, you can come to, um, I love to do rounded corners on things. And this is basically saying enable certain corners. So this is the top left, this is the top right. And say I wanna, I want to make this rounded. I'm gonna, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna hit this up arrow to um, increase the amount of curving I'm doing on this. And say, say I realize that looks kind of dumb because the bottom is not rounded. Also, I'm going to select those two, and it looks like a nice, clean, soft feeling image. And I am going to also come over to here and add an effect on it, which there aren't many of in Muse, but we'll do a shadow and you're gonna see what happens. You hit on, and then you can change the color. Say, you know, my logo is red. So let's change it to red, just to, you know, you know keep that whole theme throughout the site. And uh, you can obviously do other things on the, on the shadow. And um, last but not least, we're going to change her name because she would be very upset with me if I did not. And her name is Sheba, and her middle name is May. So Sheba May Looney and she is not the owner of SML Studios, but she will be for tonight. So that's it guys on images. Images are really fun. Um, always try to stay organized with everything. It's made my life as a designer uh, much easier because there's no, pur there's no purpose in building a site and having 40 to 50 images on your desktop, pulling them into a folder finally later called images and actually organizing everything and then actually happen to relink these images because Muse does not know where they are. So any questions, uh, give, me a, give me a holler, write some comments, um, or write me a private message, but definitely subscribe to our blog. I'm doing one of these videos a day right now, uh, probably for like the next 20 to 30 days. So um, most like mostly geared towards Adobe Muse because I'm, it's a very hot program right now and uh, it's I'm doing so much work in it right now. So. That's it, guys. Again, Steve from graphicdesignertips.com. Love you. Have a good night. Peace.